Okay, a company sells 5,000 light bulbs, each with an average life of 500 hours, a standard deviation of 100 hours, and a distribution approximated by a normal curve. Find the approximate number of bulbs that can be expected to last a specified number of times. I want it to be between 500 and 675 hours. Now, if you draw a picture of that, strictly speaking, you can work this problem without having to draw all these diagrams or distributions. But I want it to be between 500 and 675. Well, it turns out 500 hours is exactly the mean, so really you're looking for 500 and 675. So you're looking for that right there. Now, remember, these are x values because the z values are standard normal. So what you have to do is convert them by using z equals x minus mu over sigma. And as we've done before, sigma is 500 and I mean, uh, mu is 500 and sigma is 100. Now when we finish converting, we'll end up with a standard normal distribution. whose mean is zero, and whose zero, whose uh, other z value, I don't know. I happen to know that that's going to be 500 minus 500, which is going to be 500 minus 500 is zero divided by 100 is zero. So that 500 is going to convert exactly to zero. But I don't really know what 675 is going to convert to. I'll just leave it blank for right now. But basically, I'm looking for that area right there, and I want to know what that, I mean, I know that 500 converts to zero, because that's exactly the mean. I just don't know what this 675 converts to yet. Okay, so graphically that's what I'm trying to do. Now let's actually push it through and do the probability calculations. What I really want to know is the probability that x is between 500 and 675. Now, what I've got to do to convert that x to a z value, that x has got to be converted to a z, and the way I do it is I take each one of these values, subtract the mean, divide by the standard deviation. If I take the first value, subtract the mean, which happens to be 500, and divide by the standard deviation, which is 100, then I do the same thing over here. I take 675, subtract the mean, which is 500, divide by the standard deviation. I end up with the probability, 500 minus 500 is zero, to zero divided by 100 is zero. And then 675 minus 500 is 175. And 175 divided by 100 is 1.75. And remember when you're doing probabilities for between, you look up the big number in the table, then you look up the small number and you subtract. So when I look up 1.75 in the table, one point seven zero one two three four five. there it is right there. That's 0.9599. And then I subtract and look up the small number. I know that's going to be 0.5 because it's, it's zero. But I know it's going to be 0.5. But if you are not sure, just go to zero and look it up and it's 0.5. But I knew that. And so when you subtract, you end up with 0.4599. So almost 46% of those bulbs should last between those two times. But if there are 5,000 bulbs, and 45.99 should last in that interval between 500 and 675, then I just multiply 5,000 times the probability and we're going to round it off to the nearest bulb. And if you do that arithmetic, you come out with uh, about 2,300.
So about 2,300 bulbs should last. between 500 and 675 dollars.